I'm MJ Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, mapa local man or international. Yan ang hatid namin sa inyo because here's a countdown. You shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. What are we waiting for? Simula na po natin with today's number 10. Kanye West wants his name changed to Ye. And Ye alone. It's like he's pulling a P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Puffy, Sean Combs right there. Ding, ding, ding. If you do remember 90s kids. Ding, ding, ding. So Kanye West took to court an application to illegally change his name from Kanye Omari West to simply EA. There's no specific reason why, but reports surmise that it must be personal. Ding, ding, ding. This is not the first time that Kanye sought to publicly get his name changed. And back in 2018, Kanye has also announced that he would be changing his name to Ye following the release of his album. Now the California court judge just wants or needs to sign the petition for the name change to be official. Shouldn't be a problem. Little Mix to release new album. Ding, ding, ding. Another baby is coming to Little Mix. I'm talking about an album music this time for the fans. Jade, Leanne, and Perry are dropping their latest brand new album called Between Us come November. It will have 18 tracks, which are said to be reflective of their gratitude for 10 wonderful years of music. Because yes, it's been 10 years ago in the year 2011 when they were formed together as a group in X Factor UK. Little Mix is offered in the upcoming album or offering in the upcoming album. Each and every one who has ever listened to their music and sang their hearts out in the girls' shows, they said they wouldn't be here releasing their 10th anniversary album if it wasn't for the fans. But yes, it's so true indeed. Oh my gosh, the Matrix 4 trailer was released in CinemaCon! <laughs> Warner Brothers has released a trailer for the new Matrix movie at a CinemaCon in Las Vegas. The title of the installment is The Matrix Resurrections, of course, with Keanu Reeves. Ding, ding, ding. He will be joined by Neil Patrick Harris, Carrie Ann Moss, Jada Pinkett Smith, Yaya Abdul Mateen II. The trailer will be soon released in public, so let's watch out for that. The latest Matrix movie is scheduled to premiere in December. <laughs> Number seven. Jake Gyllenhaal is set to star in a new movie for the fans. Heads up on this. Everything except for Jake J Gyllenhaal's return to the big screen. Ding, ding, ding. Jake is a star of Oblivion Song, a film based on the graphic novels of Robert, Robert Kirkman and Lorenzo de Felici. Oblivion Song tells the story of Nathan Cole to be played by Jake who tries to rescue people living in apocalyptic oblivion. Aside from being the lead star, Jake is also one of the producers of the movie Vice Production Outfit Nine Stories, along with Skybound Entertainment and New Republic Pictures. Release date, people, is yet to be announced, but do stick here on Celebrity Top 10 since we give you the latest on the film industry as well. This has been people, you know, has, has been everybody talking. <laughs> well, do you remember the iconic album cover of Nirvana? Well, guess what? <laughs> the baby in the album cover, Stu's the band. <laughs> 30 years after, Spencer Elton, the man who was photographed as a baby in the album cover of Nirvana, entitled Nevermind, filed a lawsuit against a band for allegedly sexual exploitation. Ding, ding, ding. Spencer was four months old when the photo was taken, but according to Spencer, his parents did not sign anything that authorized to use the photo as the album cover. Moreover, the claims that he has suffered and will continue to suffer lifelong damages and emotional distress because of his photo that was unwittingly used. Spencer is asking for payment for damages of at least $150,000 or more than 7 million pesos ding, ding, ding. from each of the 15 defendants. Ding, ding, ding. Just do the math. Including the surviving members of the band, the manager of Kurt Cobain's estate, Cobain's former wife, and the photographer. Ding, ding, ding. The representative of Nirvana is yet to comment on the issue, but it has been the hottest talk of the town. Yup, yup, yup. Anyway, guys, 
Before we move on, we're 4.15 p.m. on One News with Replays at 10.30 p.m. on One PH. You can read up on One News PH, powered by the Philippine Star. I want to say hi to the All Natics, OO Natics, OMJ supporters. Thank you always for being here, screenshotting this episode. <laughs> Blessing, y'all. And halfway on the show, we're going to talk about some local infused with some Hollywood vibe. The day has come. Our Filipino actress, Lovey Poe, lands a role in a Hollywood film. Ding, ding, ding. That could also happen before with Cesar Montano. Uh, but this time, Lovey Poe has snagged a role in Hollywood called the Chelsea Cowboy, and it's pretty good casting, if if I may say. The 32-year-old Pinay actress joins Alex Pettifer and Poppy Delevingne in this movie. If you don't know who Poppy is, she's the socialite sister of Cara Delevingne, the supermodel. So the Chelsea Cowboy is a biopic based on the life of the actor and gangster John Vindo. According to reports, Lovey will be playing the role of British blues singer Dana Gillespie, who was known for her connections with high-profile personalities and who employed John Vindo as security, which provided them access to high life and meeting Princess Margaret. Ding, ding, ding. Lovey confirms this by sharing the news on Instagram, saying she's excited to work with Alex Poppy and the amazing team and creatives behind the movie. Congrats, and we do hope this a notch production. Oh my gosh, so finally this kid, Tico Estrada, speaks up on issues surrounding his love life. <laughs> finally, right? So it's not good when women are throwing shades at one another. Basically, good thing Tico stood up, manned up. So he finally broke the silence on the issues that are evolving or involving his love life. In an interview with Oji Diaz, Tico insisted that he is not a cheater. He also insisted that his current girlfriend, Heaven Peralejo, is not third party in the relationship with ex-girlfriend Devon Saran. And Kiko said he and Devon broke up back in Feb this year. So a month after the split, that's only when he communicated with Heaven, who by that time, this was started a TV series. Kiko said he's speaking up to put an end to the issue once and for all for himself and for Heaven, who seemed to be the villain in the story. Despite the issue, he wishes Devon well. Netizens are now pushing OG Diaz to get the side of Devon as well to know her take on the issue, which should be, right? Another star joining FPJ's Ang Provinciano, it's John Estrada. Yes, John Estrada isn't resting despite the season break of John and Ellen. The acclaimed actor will be joining FPJ's Ang Provinciano as it enters. The sixth year, we have the trailer for you people. Enjoy. Sa dami ng kanilang mga pinangga, kailangan nila ng bagong kasangga. Mara Costa. Jan Estrada bilang Armando. Intermado na. Ano ang kanyang papel sa mas tumitinding laban ni Nakarto? FPJ's Ang Provinciano on TV5 Primetime Todo Max. Yes, yes, yes. Blackpink's Lisa teases solo album. Ding, ding, ding. Teaser posters are out for Blackpink's Lisa solo album entitled La Lisa. Lisa, the third member of Blackpink to debut as solo artist. As a solo artist, Jenny released her album back in 2018 while Rose released R just a few months ago. Lisa's first single will be released in September, the same year when Jenny debuted YG Entertainment also now that each of the Blackpink girls will have their solo debuts. <laughs> Good thing, more content for the blanks out there. For those asking, what about Jisoo? She's currently busy in the drama Snowdropper. She stars with Jungie Ian. <laughs> yes, we're gonna stand by for that for you guys. Anyway, number one is big deal. if there's a blank story there's an army story and the bds collaborates with megan d stallion the collaboration between bds and megan d stallion is all set bts and megan will be releasing the remix of butter tomorrow the hit female rapper got the go signal from court to release the collab project with bds after her record label barred her from doing so megan alleges that 1501 Entertainment said it doesn't believe a collab with BDS would be good for her career. 
What? What? But if Megan would insist, she has to pay the record label a waiver fee of $100,000. So this made, made Megan drop the bomb that the Houston, Texas-based record company owned by former LM, MLB player Carl Crawford actually hasn't helped her in her career and only milked her, uh, her income. So good riddance to them, right? And I'm sure that this remix is gonna be bomb. <laughs> Wow, I can't wait. Honestly, I'm excited for that. I like Megan Thee Stallion and BDS. I can't imagine right now what the sound may be, but yeah, we'll stand by for that. Before we end, just a general reminder for everybody, continue ensuring we're all safe from COVID-19. Wear a mask, disinfect, practice social distancing. That's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow again. Please take care. Please be extra vigilant. We're Mondays to Fridays, guys. You know the drill. It's 4.30 p.m. on One News, the three places. 10.30 p.m. on One PH, also on One News. PH. You can follow me on my socials. It's MJMR4, you guys. All across. And on Facebook, it's just MJMR4, you official with a blue check. You will need to see the verified page for that. Also, I'm MJMR4 once again. It is a pleasure. I'll see you again tomorrow. This is Celebrity Top 10. Hey.